So I'm going to start by creating a Keynote presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Keynote. And Keynote's a presentation app, but it can do a lot more uh, with it than just make presentations. So I'm going to start off by hitting the plus sign in the upper right hand corner to make a new presentation. And I want one with a white background. And I'm going to start just by just deleting things that are on my page. I'm going to just tap and then hit delete and then tap on this box and hit delete to make it all go away and give me a blank uh, canvas. And so now I'm going to add something to this page. So I'm going to tap the plus sign and I have these little buttons up here at the top and I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. This is the shapes tool and there's all different categories of different shapes and things that I can add. Um, I have animals, I have nature things. So let's say I'm going to make a movie um, about the water cycle. All right, so maybe I want uh, to simply insert a couple trees. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on a tree. And I'm going to move that tree to the bottom of my page. Now the reason I want to do that is because when I make an AR object out of this, um, it will be relative to where it is here. So if it's on the bottom line, then that means it's going to be like on a table or on whatever, whatever surface that I want it to be on. If I put it up here in the sky, then it's actually going to float uh, above the ground um, whenever I uh, make an AR object out of it. So I just want it at the bottom like that. All right, and now I'm going to tap my paintbrush up here and I can change colors if I want. So let's say I'll make it green just like that. And if I tap on my slide, not on the, the tree itself, but just anywhere on my slide and tap the paintbrush again, I can change that slide background color. I need to make the background no fill. And what that means is the background of my slide will just be blank. So now this is ready to go. Now, before I leave, I'm going to go ahead and hit this plus sign down in the bottom left hand corner to make a new one. Uh, I'll go here, I'll do a blank slide at the bottom. Uh, same as before, I'm going to hit my plus sign, I'm going to go to my shapes. Uh, maybe this time uh, I wanted a cloud, so maybe I'll do a cloud. And since I want the cloud to be up in the air, I'm going to drag it above the base of my slide. So I'm not going to put it down here, I'm going to put it up here in the sky. And if I wanted to, I could go ahead and tap on it um, and copy it and then just tap again and paste. Maybe I want to add a couple clouds here and I could change the color again. Maybe I want it to be a slightly different shade of blue, just like that. And again, make sure I don't have anything selected. Just click on some empty space and then paintbrush, background, no fill to make it invisible. And now I'm going to do one more new slide, blank slide. Uh, this time I'm going to do uh, what they call a word bubble. Now they're in here and I could search, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, just type my, my magnifying glass and do a search for it. And it's a bubble. I believe they're called quote bubbles. Here we go. And so if I tap a quote bubble, again, I can resize it. Um, I can change the color. I want this to be yellow. And if I double tap inside of it, I can actually add some text. So this is some text, just like that. Now again, click on some empty space, paintbrush, background, no fill. So I have three slides. Here's my first one with a tree, second one with some clouds, and then a third one uh, with just some text. So I am finished, and now I'm ready to export this. So I'm going to tap on my three dots. And I'm going to go to export. Now the option I want is images. All right. So when I tap on images, it's going to ask me what format I want that image to be. I have to choose the one called PNG. So there's a lot of different image formats here. PNG is the only one that this is going to work. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit export. And now it's going to ask me where do I want these images to go. I want to tell it just to save these images. So I'm going to tell it to save those images. Now what it did is it made three separate images and it put those images in my photo library. So here are my trees, here's my cloud, here's my word bubble. And that's how I get images out of Keynote into my photo library.